This next challenge is called creating a sublist. It tells us that we are to use slicing to create a new list called, okay, I get it, whose contents are the middle three numbers of enough already. Slicing can be done using positive or negative indices. So I know that I'm gonna to need to declare a list so I can just get that part out of the way. And um, I was told that that list is going to be a uh, sub list of our original list enough already. Um, here we see that we have negative 100 um, as our starting term for our range object and 100 for our ending term. Um, again, we're stopping right to the left of that 101. So it does not include 101, it does include 100. So we know that um, our three middle numbers are going to be, uh, the first one's going to be negative one, the second one is going to be zero, and the last one is going to be positive one because uh, this list is symmetrical um, and will be uh, centered around zero, uh, if I'm thinking about this correctly. Um, but let's think about what our list length is going to be. Um, I know I'm going to have 100 numbers that are less than zero and 100 numbers which are po uh, greater than zero. So um, 100 numbers that are uh, greater than zero, that's 200 numbers, but then I also have zero. So that's 200 and one. So for my starting index, what I am going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and go up to index 99, um, or I'm going to start at index 99. Um, that will be the 99th item in my list, um, which should be negative one, um, because, uh, my first item is, uh, negative 100, second is, uh, 99, um, so I think it's actually going to be the 98th item in the list. Now that I think about it, um, we could do some sort of tricky addition here. I know that I start at negative 100 and um, that's index zero and that goes to negative, uh, index zero is negative 100, uh, index one is negative 99. So if I add the absolute value of the number in the list and the index number, they equal 100. Um, so if I want the ne number negative one, um, that will actually be, I was right at originally, the 99th. Um, 99 plus the absolute value of one is 100. Um, so I want item 99 in my list. I want, uh, and then this is symmetrical. So um, I can, just try to go ahead um, backwards from 99, um, or I can go forwards. For me, I don't use the backwards indexing a lot, especially with numbers that are like grade, uh, less than negative 10. Um, it just doesn't seem to work in my personal brain very well. Um, so I'll just say I want to include items 99, 100, and 101, which of course means my second parameter will have to be 102. So it took us a while to get there with some mental math but we should be in good shape and we can see that is the case. Um, go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and try it um, and see if it's this negative 99. Um, and we can see that is also correct. So our symmetry also gives us the right solution here.